you tired of driving and riding alone? Introducing Ahoy Carpool, a new carpooling experience allowing you to make new friends in a safe and secure environment. Whether you're in the riding mood or driving mood, Ahoy Carpool enables you to do both. Make extra money or find cheap rides. Pay in the most convenient ways for you. Book your carpool ride in advance. Choose the person you want to ride with as well as the specific time and date. Ahoy Carpool is easy to download. Download now and experience Ahoy Carpool today. election on January the 8th. The very next morning I was serving um, my three days left because I used to be in the House of Delegates. I served three days in the House of Delegates and then was sworn into the Senate and just got home last night. Okay. I just got home last night. We just passed the budget in the, in the And I, you know, I'm just really proud of the work that we were able to do. But I, I want to say thank you to so many of you all who have been at my side helping me get through this special election. Um, the Indian American community was a very strong part of our campaign, and I certainly owe you all a lot of appreciation and thanks. Shri and Shri, you two especially, and Sudhakar, I just really appreciate it. Um, anyway, to give you all a little bit of update about what's going on in Richmond, as I said, we just adjourned last night. We passed a budget that I'm very proud of that's going to be able to give a 5% increase in our, in our K-12 through schools, going to give more investment for our, our higher uh, colleges and universities, especially focusing on IT, um, trying to incentivize students to be able to come and study IT programs so that we have the talent necessary uh, to fill those good 21st century technology jobs that all of us in this room care about so much. Um, you want me to move over here now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excuse me, I didn't know that I was not in the right thing. Um, so, you know, technology has been a very high priority for the, the General Assembly and for the governor this past year. As you know, Amazon has decided to headquarter here, and that's going to bring 25,000 jobs over the next many years. Um, we'll really boost our economy. But I know that a lot of the smaller companies that a lot of you all represent are going to benefit from that as well, because there will be um, more, more folks needing more services, and that's exciting. Um, we, ha we have a growing, diverse community, especially here in Northern Virginia. And I have been at the forefront standing up for immigration rights, um, as well as making sure that we have a diverse, friendly, and welcoming community for everyone. I spent a lot of time this past year trying to help people do things that you know are just logistic, like getting driver's licenses, expanding who can have a driver's license, expanding who can have access to in-state tuition. We still have some work to do. Um, the legislature just needs to understand these should be priorities for us. Um, and I will be a partner to make sure that we're focusing on those kinds of issues. Um, other things that I think we all care about are that uh, we're all able to, we, we passed in our budget, conforming our tax code so that everybody now can file their taxes and get their refunds. And um, we increased the individual um, deduction as well as that for couples 
so that uh, we're going to get more money back in their pockets, which I know everybody's going to be happy about. And um, I, you know, I look forward to one of the things that I love about being a member of the House of Delegates and it now as a senator is that I want you to know that I'm your partner. So I am available around, you know, around the year here. My office is in the town of Herndon. I work, regularly work with companies and individuals to help solve problems and to help you connect with the folks that you need to, whether it's at the local level or at the federal level or at the county level. Um, I want you to think of me as your partner, someone that you can go to if you have a challenge. Um, I am your public servant. Yes, sir. I have a specific question. This whole room is full of small business. I mean, they can hear me. So I want you to address how the small business is going to really get get the of the administration, how we can you know, set up some team, uh, work closely with you, with your office, to make sure that you know, we just talk about having meetings, we don't really benefit the members. So we want to address you know, what kind of incentives if they set up offices in Fairfax or you know, in Virginia, right? So we don't really know much about it. If your office can do some more uh, research and let us know about the benefits, we really want to work with you, with your office, and then see, let all the members get them brought up. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for the question. So um, we have a workforce development team at uh, in Richmond that works throughout the state. I'm happy to work with you to, to get in contact. I know that finding um, workers who are qualified and ready to do the jobs that you're having to offer is a big part of, of what we all care about, and I can help be that conduit for you. Um, just, and I think it's next Wednesday, Google is going to be doing a project in the town of Herndon at the library, for instance, and they're hoping that people will come and learn about what's going on. And there's, there are ways to collaborate, um, businesses to collaborate with them as well. So that would be another idea immediately that I have on my mind. I work closely with the Economic Development Authority, and if you have specific questions, I'm happy to sit, you know, set up meetings and help, help Probably come by last and come back to your office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sure. it's the first time we are having this. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and Jennifer, I just want to add one thing. They are going to add more jobs here locally. Mm -hmm. So that's what, like, uh, adding more jobs is very intensive. Last time we we went to the um, last year pastry, they were bringing like five jobs, and county and state gave like twenty-seven dollars dollars check for them. So that's what they want to hear. Okay. Exactly, monetary help. Or like what kind of help that the state can provide? They're going to add a few hundred jobs, like bringing in or like setting up the offices sure. and getting the finances, like access for paying taxes yes. to Virginia. Sure. So what I think we need to do is bring in the folks from the Economic Development Authority to set up a meeting to have this conversation. I just got home last night. <laughs> I, I, my average day is getting to the office at, when I'm in session, getting to the office at 6.30 in the morning, going with meetings every five to 15 minutes, talking to a different group, doing my, uh, you know, sitting in session, making the votes, and then preparing for the next day. So I will tell you that I probably can't answer your exact questions this moment, but I will be happy to work with you to find those answers and to set up the meetings that we're hoping to find some resolution on. Um, and you just know that I will be your partner through this. So I appreciate your... Cybersecurity can add something on cybersecurity. On cybersecurity. It is absolutely a priority. Another one of the things that I'm trying to do is, is align our systems so that one, they are secure and safe, but also so that we are um, able to share information among different um, agencies and um, parts of the administration so that um, we do have a safe system. But we need to make sure that all of our systems are safe and in and there is money in the budget to, to, to make those investments. And again, we can pull that information out for you. Um, I'm at the you know the thousand foot level tonight, um, and then certainly, but we can get into the weeds as as necessary. Um, cyber security is definitely something that we are working on, and and I look forward to to continuing. I've been serving on the broadband advisory council, which is is charged with helping expand access to broadband throughout the Commonwealth, and that continues to be an ongoing thing. I know that we put in a I think 
12 to 15 million dollars investment in our budget for that. Um, so that's just another example of some of the work that we've been doing. Any other questions for the center? Thank you all so much for being, you know, inviting me to share this evening with you all. I appreciate and look forward to being a partner with you all. And thank you for, you know, bringing your jobs here to Northern Virginia and to Virginia in the whole because you are helping our economy grow and a real part of the backbone of the Northern Virginia um, community. So thank you so much.